Hey folks. Still waking up in the morning. <laughs> it's 11 degrees right now. It's supposed to be, I think, 16 today. So it's not a wonderful, great day, but it's not raining. And there's a lot of clouds out there, but currently the sun is out. So, can't really complain too much. I was going to say, I don't remember what it was now. I'm going to go out, get some fresh air, enjoy the day. <laughs> and my mind is not working. So, before I go out, I am going to switch cameras. Is there something I want to show you? Time for new bearings. <laughs> That's pretty bad. I can actually feel that when I'm driving. <clears throat> I can feel the front end moving around. So, and I know it's actually the wheel bearings I checked yesterday. It's not the, the steering bearings that I can't, I still can't figure out how to change. I know it's not those because you're looking at it, and the actual hub itself is moving, so. That's due. Aw, oh, it's actually been due for a while, I just... The maintenance thing, it hasn't happened this year. So, I just wanted to show that. I thought it was kind of interesting how that's happening. And, uh, my squeak. And that squeak I was developing seems to have disappeared. It's not squeaking anymore. So, maybe the hinge got wet with all the rain and that and the water's lubricating it, I don't know. I do have another rattle up front here. It's not... Well, the tiller is a little bit. That's, that's the steering. Yes, I'm just... No, you're hearing there is the steering, but it, it's not the tiller itself. The tiller's still tight, but there's something inside that's rattling really bad. I have a feeling it's my <clears throat> my relay for the front light. Um, it was just there's a tab on it, a mounting tab that just kind of slips onto whatever, and I just kind of wrapped a, a zip tie around it and. Pulled it tight against the frame. I have a feeling it the tab slipped out of that, and that because it sounds like sounds plastic. So if I hit bumps, I can hear it rattling. It's annoying. The more annoying, not knowing what it is, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So if that's it, that'll be an easy fix. But in a few days, I'll oh, look. My trailer hasn't fallen down. <laughs> it's still up there. <laughs> In a few days I'll have some more money. I have something I need to order. And then... Of course... Energy dependent. I have to have energy to do stuff. Which is really, really seriously lacking right now. Then... Hopefully it's time to start actually doing stuff out here. So I got the trailer done, that was, that was the big one, that was holding everything else up. But now it's just a matter of what my health is going to let me do. So I think the next thing I'm going to do is move this shelf over to that side where I want it. So my next project will be to cut a, a piece off the bottom of the door so I can open it all the way. So I can just drag the monster in on an angle. That's going to be interesting, because that door weighs as much as the garage, I can't lift it. So I, <clears throat> I have to lay on the, on the ground and cut the bottom by hand. That's going to be interesting. <laughs> 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 
but that's not something that needs to be all done at once. I can just kind of do a little bit each day when I come home from my tour or whatever. But we'll see what happens. So, okay, I guess that's it. Let's go for a tour. Okay. Okay, that is a dog barking. He's barking differently now than what I heard. I don't know where that's coming from. That sounds like what I thought was a peacock. He's, he's kind of doing a double bark now. When, he, when it's a single bark, it sounds like a peacock call. Hmm. <laughs> Arr, arr, arr. So, I guess it's a dog I've been hearing. And not a peacock. But I can't tell where it's coming from. Not a clue. Okay, let's go for a tour.
that turned out to be quite a beautiful day out there. Don't need my jacket anymore, but <laughs> until yesterday, I think it was. I forgot to mention, and when I went to Timmy's, it's the longest line that I've been in so far. Yeah, I kind of got reminded of that because same thing happened again. <laughs> I'm practically out at the road waiting. It's like wow. So, so <laughs> I did the power failure video yesterday and when I came back uh, and power was back on is using the green screen I had my my winter toque on with the green on it and like I figured you can see through my head <laughs> so I got me a new one today it's the thickest one that they had at the dollar store it's just nice and thick it's, it's got a, a fleece lining inside it it looks nice and warm and there's no green on it so <laughs> So that will kind of help prevent me from having to turn the green around to blue. That will help with that. So, I stopped and talked to the gents on the bench. I actually sat there for quite some time. Because I'm out in the morning, there's no rush to get home to you know, get my daily stuff done. Because I do that later in the afternoon. I talked about a bunch of things. So nothing's happened with Reg yet. He's still here in the hospital in Wingham. He's supposed to be going to London uh, on Thursday, which I believe, I think today's two, yeah, today's two, so two days from now, that'll be the 25th, no, I don't know how I read that, holy smokes, man, it's bad, today's the 29th, so it'll be October 1st, yeah, my phone just turned off on me. So, I'll see what happens with that. Um, McDonald's is having kind of a rough time. Uh, they've been closed in the mornings because they don't have staff. They don't have enough people to work. And with school being back in, um, no, they've lost some of their workers to that. So I imagine all you know, the after school they'd be working part time or whatever. But in the mornings they don't have anybody. I heard that the drive through was closed. Uh, the whole building is closed now because apparently the roof is leaking. Already, <laughs> it's only been there what a year or two years. Whenever they finished it, I can't remember. So. Uh, everybody's saying that it's probably because the building is sinking because they, they never let that land settle they just packed it down and that was it uh, apparently what I've heard is a lot of times when they when they fill in areas like that they, they use water so it just it kind of helps the, the ground settle but they didn't do that and it's like I said they just they packed it down and then started building on it right away so that's possibly the issue, either that or whoever did the roof didn't do a very good job. It's leaking already, so that's so they're closed completely right now. It's like, wow. It's a lot of kind of sucks. So yesterday I was heading up the big hill and a tow truck was flying by and I saw it at the top of the hill, it, it bounced and I'm like, I don't remember there being a bump there. So I realized he just ran the stop sign. So, <laughs> whoops. That's a two-way stop, so it's a good thing there was nobody coming the other way. Uh, and after I, I would, did my, went down the school trail and went down around the hill and I saw where he was going, where the tree fell down, uh, that it had landed on the trailer. Uh, he was picking up that trailer. So I found out today that apparently the trailer was a write-off and apparently a car in the driveway also. Um, so the tree kind of destroyed both of them. So that kind of sucked. So I went down to the dam and there was a lot of people at the, the boat launch side of it so I didn't bother going down there. And the lily pads are back, by the way. They're not underwater anymore. <laughs> They're st starting to pop their heads out. And 
the water's still coming through the dam. Not all. Or I think there's only two of them. Two of the openings now where the water's actually still coming through. It's still pretty high. It's, it's taking its time going down. But they got all these concrete blocks uh, in the laneway there. And that's kind of okay to plan on doing something that wasn't sure what it was. But when I got to the other side, I could see the blocks up on the other side too. Actually, no, I just, after I left there, I was going across the big trail bridge. I could see the blocks on the other side too, so they must be getting ready to, to demolish the dam. I'm not sure if they're doing that this year, if they're waiting until next year. I assume they're going to be waiting until next year, but maybe, I don't know. They seem to be preparing for it now. So I think I might go online and see if there's any information on that. So, um, did a nice long tour and stopped at the river up the soccer fields again. And I discovered where I stopped, there's this little tree, little poplar tree beside me with the white leaves. The white leaves aren't white right now, they're dirty brown. And look at there's dirt all over them. And I got off, I went for a little bit of a walk to get some, some motion in my legs. And... It's the, the grass is dirty too. I think it was the water up here. So I just kind of took a stroll around. That whole area was underwater. And that tree, I looked at the tree, and the tree is dirty right to the top. So that whole entire tree was completely submerged in water. So I look and there's a, there's a line of debris, like grass, a straw, or whatever, and, and like sticks little pieces of wood and garbage and everything all along this line so that's how high the water was so I never realized until I was on my way out that <laughs> at the end of that laneway there's all this this debris sitting there that came from the river the river was all the way up there so it was a good 10 12 feet high I don't remember seeing that I don't know when that happened like wow so it was it was pretty high so I think that's all I got for today. I gotta use the washroom really bad, so I'm kinda rushing this. <laughs> so that's all the information, the new information that I've got. But I, I found another video that I think I only shared on Facebook. So I'll leave you with that. And that's from when I was driving the ES950 in Hanover. So that was before the monster, so it was early 2016 or before. So I'll leave you with that. Thanks for watching.